Tanais Greek, Tornish Tornish, Russian, Tanais was an ancient Greek city in the Don River Delta, called the Maeotian Marshes in classical antiquity. It was a bishopric as Tanna and remains a Latin Catholic titular see as Tanais. <laughs> Location The delta reaches into the northeasternmost part of the Sea of Aziv, which the ancient Greeks called Lake Maeotis. The site of ancient Tanais is about 30 km west of modern Rostov-on-Don. The central city site lies on a plateau with a difference up to 20 m in elevation in the south. It is bordered by a natural valley to the east, and an artificial ditch to the west. History The site of Tanais was occupied long before the Milesians founded an emporium there. A necropolis of over 300 burial kurgans near the ancient city shows that the site had already been occupied since the Bronze Age, and that kurgan burials continued through Greek and into even Roman times. Greek traders seem to have been meeting nomads in the district as early as the 7th century BC without a formal, permanent settlement. Greek colonies had two kinds of origins, a poikiae of citizens from the mother city-state, and emporia, which were strictly trading stations. Founded late in the 3rd century BC, by merchant adventurers from Miletus, Tanais quickly developed into an emporium at the farthest northeastern extension of the Hellenic cultural sphere. It was a natural post, first for the trade of the steppes reaching away eastwards in an unbroken grass sea to the Altai, the Scythian Holy Land, second for the trade of the Black Sea, ringed with Greek-dominated ports and entrepots, and third for trade from the impenetrable north, with furs and slaves brought down the Don. Strabo mentions Tanais in his Geography 11.2.2. The site for the city, ruled by an archon, was at the eastern edge of the territory of the kings of Bosporus. A major shift in social emphasis is represented in the archaeological site when the Propoli gate that linked the port section with the Agora was removed, and the open centre of public life was occupied by a palatial dwelling in Roman times for the kings of Bosporus. For the first time there were client kings at Tanais, Sauromates AD 175-211 and his son Rescuporides c. AD 220, who both left public inscriptions. In AD 330 Tanais was devastated by the Goths, but the site was occupied continuously up to the second half of the 5th century AD. Increasingly, the channel silted up, probably the result of deforestation, and the center of active life shifted, perhaps to the small city of Aziv, halfway to Rostov. The city was refounded around the 13th century by the Venetians. Later it was acquired by the Maritime Republic of Genoa, who administered it 1332-1471 as Tana nel Mare Maggiore, being an important place for trade with the Golden Horde, like all their Black Sea colonies controlled by the Genoese consul at Caffa. It decayed again after 1368. In 1392 it was conquered by Timur, by the Ottoman Turks in 1471, by the Russians in 1696, again by the Turks in 1711 and by the Russian Empire in 1771. <laughs> Ecclesiastical history Circa 1300, under Venetian rule, was established a diocese of Tanna as territory not previously served, maintained under Genoa. Most bishops were members of two major and missionary orders. It was exempt, i.e. directly subject to the Holy See, not part of any ecclesiastical province. In 1471, under Ottoman Muslim control, the bishopric was suppressed. Topic. Episcopal ordinaries Reginaldo di Spolito, Dominican Order OP 1300 Enrico Friars Minor OFM the 15th of August 1345 Apostolic Administrator Cosmas OFM the 20th of March 1370 Giovanni 1380 Corrado OP 1382 Matteo Antonio di Lepanto, O.P. The 3rd of July 1422 death. Nicola di Troia, O.F.M. The 27th of July 1425. 
Francesco Basilio, OFM. The 11th of November 1439 death. Uncanonical Erboldo, May 1441 death, the 15th of April 1450, appointed by Antipope Felix V. Matteo di Pontremoli, OP 1464.09. 16. Topic Titular C. In 1925 the diocese was nominally restored as Latin titular bishopric of Tanna, which from 1929 was called Tannes exclusively from 1942. It is vacant, having had the following near consecutive incumbents, all of the fitting episcopal lowest rank. Juan José Mastegui y Besoitaturia, Claritians, CMF, the 14th of July 1926, the 24th of February 1933, later archbishop. Joseph Quisho Zun, Choi Sho Sun, Quisho Zun, the 6th of March 1933, the 11th of April 1946. Andrew Roboretsky, the 3rd of March 1948, the 3rd of November 1956. Raúl Francisco Primatesta, the 14th of June 1957, the 12th of June 1961, later Cardinal. Agustín Adolfo Herrera, the 24th of July 1961, 1965.09. 08. Topic: Archaeology. In 1823, I. A. Stemkowski first made a connection between the visible archaeological remains, which were mostly Roman in date, and the Tanais mentioned in the ancient Greek sources. Systematic modern excavations began in 1955. A joint Russian German team has recently been excavating at the site of Tanais, with the aim of revealing the heart of the city, the Agora, and defining the extent of Hellenistic influence on the urbanism of the Bosporan Greek city, as well as studying defensive responses to the surrounding nomadic cultures. In the book Jackton Par Odin, author Thor Heyerdahl advanced a highly controversial idea postulating connections between Tanais and ancient Scandinavia. In preparation of the book, he conducted some archaeological research on the site of Tanais. Heyerdahl's idea was based on the Old Norse sagas of Snorri Sturluson. 1178–1241 Genetics <inaudible> 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 Nine Y chromosome markers were obtained from a skeleton. The result was 389I equals 13, 389II equals 30, 458 equals 15, 385 equals 11, 393 equals 13, 391 equals 11, 635 equals 23, 437 equals 14, 448 equals 19. This result is characteristic for haplogroup R1A. Topic. See also List of Catholic dioceses in Russia Tanay's Tablets Tanay's Archaeological Reserve Museum Notes <laughs>